Hello viewers, welcome back to Multi Magic channel. In the previous video, what we have discussed is we have discussed the basic communication and connection establishment between React, Node, Express, and MongoDB. But in this video, we are going to do the same thing using React, Node, Express, and MySQL. Clean. So basically, what you need to do is I'll post this link in the description. So what you need to do is you have to clone this repository. You, fo you have to follow the exact steps. Okay. So as a disclaimer, I am using this tool set. Okay. So make sure that you have these tools installed. Okay. So what you have to do is uh, you have to clone this repository and you have to navigate to this folder. And to install the dependencies what are required for the client, you have to follow this step. And to install the dependencies which are necessary for your backend you have to follow this step okay so the prerequisites for this the prerequisite dependencies or uh, whatever to run this application you need to have XAMPP locally or else uh, if you have XAMPP somewhere in the server then you just have to f change the credentials only so that's not a matter so what I did is I did all my development in the local host itself so that's why I installed XAMPP from this URL in my local system. Once after following the traditional process of installation, then uh, you land up to you land up here. Okay, so where I started all my servers, and if you can see this, yes, this is where I started all my servers. Okay, and what you have to do is uh, you can create a database uh, with name to do app DB or uh, any respective name, whatever you want to give. Okay. And you can just create it by clicking on new and uh, you have to give some details. I mean, you have to give your database name and that's all it is done. You got your database here. Okay. And in dot env file, what you have to do is you have to keep all your information. I'm doing my development in localhost, right? So my host name is localhost and uh, you have to give the respective user password and name as said. Okay, to start the front end server, you what you have to do is you have to navigate to the client folder and you have to just uh, execute this command, which will automatically redirect you to your default browser and uh, then I mean then it will it by default it will open in the port localhost uh, 3000. Okay, where you can see your front end. Okay, and in back end. Uh, to run the backend what you have to do is uh, you have to navigate to the backend folder and you just have to run npm start everything will be done okay so let us go to the source code once so yeah this is uh, react react node express and mysql folder clean so we have our client and we have our backend so basically in this video i'm not going to explain what is inside the client because it is as same as in the previous video so i am going to place a link in the description where you can watch that video and you can understand what is the code flow and what is the code written in the client folder itself so i am going to shift to the backend folder okay the main difference for the previous video and this video is we just change the backend technology okay so in the backend uh, as everyone knows uh, we have to create a default file uh, i mean initial file kind of basic file where our client will connect to the server okay so our server is running at 5050 port and uh, it will start listening to the client okay uh, to the client connection after we start it okay before starting explaining explaining of the code what we will do is for every database what we should do is we have to design the schema right so we are using mysql and uh, so obviously mysql dependency should be installed in the node okay so what we will do is we will create a connection and once the connection is done we will create a database if it is not there and uh, what we will do is once we create the database we'll create a table okay with name to do's inside the table i have an id which is auto incremented and i have a title and i have a boolean called as completed okay 
so this is my schema basically and uh, yep so let us come back to the server.js folder if client sends any request to todos then what it will do is it will navigate to the todos router okay i will route to the todos router and uh, here we have respective apis okay this api is to get whatever the values or data which is inside the todos table will fetch everything and will return in json response clean so <coughs> yes see here we will select everything from todos table and we will return in we will return our results in json format clean and in post basically post if assume if a client is sending a value to the server post request which is a post request okay what this api will do is it will extract these data from request dot body and it will take this data and it will insert into to do table clean okay once it is done we'll uh, send a success response to the client clean and in this api it is a put api if you observe put we'll use that to update the data what is inside the database okay so this also does the same we'll extract the data okay we'll extract the data from the body and we'll extract the id too because we need to explicitly tell our server which data to be modified okay that process is done with the respective of id like we'll go to that ids and then with respective that id we'll change the data clean we'll accept the data and what we'll do is we'll search for that id and then what we'll do is uh, we'll replace the, we'll replace or update the data clean this functionality is uh, done by this api okay in delete this basically you can observe this uh, we are posting a delete request or uh, we are posting a delete request what we are doing is in from client will get an respective id of the to do item or uh, the value which we want to delete okay so we'll get the id and what we'll do is we'll traverse through all values in the database where id where our id matches with the respective id in the database okay once the id gets matched what we'll do is we'll delete all the values in the table okay clean we'll delete with respect to the id clean so yes this is how the really delete api works and uh, update api works and post and uh, get okay so let us see the uh, working of this yeah let me stop the server which i am running already so first i as i told we have to run the backend first so yes the to do at db is created and everything is created okay uh, if it is already exist uh, it will leave it like that okay so to run the client we have to give the command npm start and we will automatically relate to the website so this is my database if you see there is no values in the to do table okay so let us add kind of hello world and let me click on add see we got a to do list and if you refresh the database yes see you can see hello world how good it is isn't it excited exciting yes it is for me because i am working on full stack for the first time so yes it is for me <laughs> i hope it is also for you okay so hello world one let us add one more value okay so let us see it's hello world one okay clean so let us update this hello world one and uh, i'll change this numerical to kind of alphabetical so let us see this yeah see great great so let us delete also so i deleted the two values and uh, if i refresh it yes see voila there is no values in the database okay 
so yeah i hope uh, you guys had fun watching this video and as i told you if you want to uh, if you want to get a clear understanding of what is what is there inside the client and how client is sending request to the server we want to get a glimpse or uh, whatever is there in the client please watch the previous video which i am going to place the link in the description and also as I, as i told i am going to keep the link of this building block description i mean of this building block link also in the description okay clean okay then uh, hope you guys had fun and thank you guys bye bye Thank you.